Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run external storage with your Nexus 7 tablet here. And so right out of the box, this comes with support for USB keyboards and mouse and game pads and such, but not USB external storage, right? And so in order to accomplish this, you're going to need to have a rooted Nexus 7, and I suggest that you watch this video that I'll put a link to also in the description of the video and uh, this is a very simple process to uh, root your Nexus 7 here it's, uh, it's the same video that I followed to do this and it's a simple program one click type of method and so once you got everything uh, rooted then you can proceed to download this program this free program from the Google Play Store and it's called stick mount and essentially what you're going to do is you're going to also pick up one of these USB host adapters and uh, you'll plug this into the tablet here so I'll go ahead and do that now right so we got that going and then I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the thumb drive and once we plug this in the uh, USB stick mount app starts up and uh, wants to mount the thumb drive it also is going to ask for a super user so we'll go ahead and grant stick mount to super user and so that's pretty much it now this has uh, come up as a, a storage device and and I have a video on this thumb drive and I'll just go ahead and run MX player and this is the video that I have here hopefully um, YouTube doesn't ban this video and so I'm gonna go ahead and run this and so this is the movie here that I've got and it's very fast and responsive right so yeah and that's pretty much it for uh, running a thumb drive on here yeah you do have to deal with this kind of a dangling type of thing here but it's works out pretty well you can load up movies and music on here and uh, things will be good to go and so well, that's pretty much it for the USB thumb drive alright so now I've got a special treat for you what I have here is a USB hub and uh, in there I've got a little dongle there where I have this keyboard plugged into and so I can have a USB hub plugged into my host adapter here so once I get that going now that uh, I have a USB hub I can plug in multiple devices into my Nexus 7 and the device I'm going to be plugging into now is this USB floppy drive and on this floppy disk I actually have an old DOS game on there right so once I get that going and I plug this in I will essentially have a USB floppy drive that is a USB storage device, right? And so there we have my USB floppy drive kicking on there, starting up, and uh, USB stick mount has recognized my USB floppy drive. So I'll go ahead and press OK, and it's going to go ahead and mount that, right? So we got our drive going there. All right, so in order to access this USB storage device and the DOS game I have on there, I went ahead and downloaded this app called DOSBox Turbo. It was 350 on the Amazon Marketplace, or not the Amazon Marketplace, but the Google Play Store. And uh, once I start this up here, we're going to have our good old-fashioned command prompt let me go ahead and zoom in on that All right and so my keyboard here is plugged in and it does work alright so um, that floppy disk is in there but before I do anything I'm gonna go ahead and make a directory called games and so this is making a directory on my Android device. So this is the directory structure of my Android device. As you can see there, I have a folder that I misspelled and called GMAES. No, I don't want that. I want games. Alright, so now I have the 
directory called games and here is my USB storage and it's a USB STO tilde 1 so I'll go ahead and go into there and do CD USB STO tilde 1 right and then what directory is in there SDA so I'll do SDA and then in my floppy disk drive here I've got the pound one galaxy.exe so I'll just go ahead and run that pound oops pound one galaxy dot exe right so it's accessing my drive here which drive do you want installed to the default is C go ahead and press enter what directory do I want to install it in it's games so now it's gonna go ahead and copy over it's gonna take a, a little bit of time I mean it is a whopping 500 kilobytes of uh, data that it has to install and unpack so let's get this going here alright looks good we'll go ahead and go to our root directory and we'll do games folder change directory into there dir and uh, oh we have to type in uh, keen 4e and we're in business so this is the uh, game that uh, I grew up playing when I was a kid when I first had a uh, DOS and look at that good old-fashioned DOS games can't beat that let's see if I go into a uh, landscape nice do a new game let's see is there any audio Can't beat the classics. Gotta love the classics. Oh. Well, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.